Okay, that's odd. The closer I get over here to this well that goes down to nothing, the more the RF signal goes off like crazy right here. What the heck? This thing is pinging and then there's like a raven just started calling outside. Leila, I think today is a perfect day for completing some side quests. Do you want to? I already did yoga. Good one though. I was getting ready this morning and I came across some of the paintings that I've done before back when I did a Bob Ross video for fun. I kind of emulated Bob Ross's method for oil painting. This one has like a buffalo and like a river. It's kind of like Yellowstone. That one's just like reminds me of the Teton mountain range. And then back here in my office, I have some other paintings that I've done. This is like a meditation one that I did. And this is one of the beach that I honestly, I haven't even finished that one yet. It's unfinished, but I have all my stuff here. That's my big painting easel. And I've got all my paints in there and I want to get back into it here. I saw this video where Logan Paul actually did epoxy or resin and he did this whole frame of Game Boys, Nintendo Game Boys in epoxy resin. And I thought that was really cool. I actually have these Organite pyramids and a while ago, I, you know, I bought these two different sized ones at a store and they have all these really cool uh, rocks and gems inside of them and then these little metal flakes some copper wiring and cool big stones inside and they're supposed to like cancel out magnetic frequencies and harmful radiation frequencies and I actually ordered a kit in order to make them at least enough to make one big one I have all that resin and I have a couple of pyramid molds and so yeah that's what we're going to get started doing today as well. See, if you look up close, the bottom of these like organite pyramids is full of these colored chakra stones. And I don't have any of those. And then it has like these copper gold flakes, the wiring, the stone in there. And we could probably come up with our own version of this of what we want to do. So we're going to have to go to a rock and gym shop. All right, road trip time, let's go. Not only does this guy have a really cool camper trailer, but if you look off in the distance, I don't know if you can see it, but that's actually the Grand Canyon over there. Welcome to the land of the giants. Just to the south of me is Fredonia in Arizona, and up here to the north is Kanab, and we've got Utah right over here. And these mountains, mesas, and cliffs off to the east of here are actually full of legends of giants. Some of them 14 foot tall, some of them 20, 30, even 40 foot tall giants. The people who settled Fredonia, supposedly some prospectors went out into these hills right over here and encountered actually living giant people. And one of my friends on my last podcast over on Carl Vive said that he's actually uncovered three foot tall thigh bones or femur bones of giants on a 14 foot tall skeleton. So we're gonna go explore some caves right up here in Kanab and check them out. The mural on the side of this thing is crazy. Look at this. It's got like all the wildlife, the whole scenery. It looks like the entire surrounding area, this owl, and then this whole foam like pyramid thing. Let's go check it out. I'm not sure they're gonna have what we need, but still, cool shop. Really cool store. They did not have exactly what I need which means we're gonna to have to go up to the sand caves, test those for energy frequencies, and then we'll go the back way all the way up to Zions National Park and go to a rock and gym shop there, loop our way back around and make it back home. Here we are guys, we made it to the giant sand caves. I've never been here, 
with the snow before. So this is really interesting, but look at this incredible entrance into these massive giant sand caves. They look water-worn or weather-worn as though the water level used to be a lot higher back through this region like a long time ago. But it's apparent that people probably lived in here and around this area. So we've been to these giant sand caves before, but I've never brought the tri-field meter. And man, every time I come here, there is a sense of energy. I've done meditation in here before, and there is an entire vibe that you get off of these caves that is really interesting. So I'm excited to go try the tri-field meter and see if we get any interesting readings. Let's do it. Everything that I'm discussing in this video, all the legends, the folklore, all of that stuff about the giants and everything, I'm gonna put uh, links down in the description below so you guys can go do your own research for yourself and see what you guys think. It really is a temperature change back in here. It is very cold, wow. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn this on, leave it going. I'll flip through the different frequencies. If I start to get any kind of a signal, we will hear it go off. But you can tell there's a lot of graffiti carving and a lot of other stuff uh, all over the place. But ooh, there's a creepy cave or tunnel. Can you imagine something crawling out of there right at you? Yeah, no, thank you. What the heck? This thing is pinging, and then there's like a raven just started calling outside. What is it about right here? This is right where I get the weird feeling too. It's like uh, there's some kind of an energy bouncing off the rocks, I don't know. These caves are so cool. They look like they're just carved out. Wow, look at the creepy face on the wall over there. Somebody carved this in the wall. It's creepy. This spot right here always gives me weird vibes. Maybe we should walk up in here and see. I mean, look at that. It feels like a doorway, like it should go, keep going in somewhere, but it's like a pretend wall or something weird, like a portal. I don't know, let's go see. Nothing on the uh, RF here. This wall has a weird feeling to it though. Okay, that's odd. The closer I get over here to this well that goes down to nothing, the more the RF signal goes off like crazy right here. Look at that. Let's see. I thought it would be going up a lot more as I get closer over here to this hole. This thing is super creepy. Like, why did they dig that up? It doesn't even go down to anything. I'm glad there's nothing crawling around down in there. But no signals down in that hole either. Uh, just like a weird spike right over here where the cave entrance is at the front of this wall. So weird. The other caves that I was going to go check out were totally full of uh, tourists and a bunch of people um, climbing around up there. So we're going to go the back way into Zions National Park and visit Rock and Crystal Shop, see if we can put together our or Orgone Pyramids. Let's go for it. so beautiful up here with everything just touched and frosted with snow. I love it.
deer crossing right in front of the truck here. Okay, I think we're okay to keep going now. They're like right there by me. <laughs> Cute! Every time I go up through Zion's, I see some goats cross the road or some deer or something. Actually, that's the first time I've seen deer. That's really cool. We're almost to the rock and crystal shop. I'm going to show you guys a stone called a Tiffany stone that's probably worth almost as much as your house. This thing is worth, well, let me just show you. This is amazing. Check this thing out. It almost looks like a skull. It's worth over $300,000. When you look up close, you can see why it's just full of crystals. You can only find it in like one spot. This is really cool. This is probably more like where we need to be looking. In fact, here's the gold flakes that we probably need. Check that out. This is probably one of my favorite ones, ocean blue calcite. Look at that. It totally does remind me of the ocean. It makes me want to go snorkeling or something. It's so cool. Maybe we could put one of these inside of our organic uh, pyramid. I think we are successful. We got everything that we need in order to get started making our organite pyramids. I've got uh, all of these stones that we're gonna have to crush up into smaller ones uh, to get all the colored stone effect for the bottom. So I'm gonna have to do that. And then not leave the store without this guy. So he came home with me. Look how awesome he is. He's really cool. He reminds me of like Skeletor from He-Man. Like, yeah, this is one of my favorite finds of the day. Ooh. This little guy right here. So I was thinking it could go right down in the tip of the pyramid. So like up in there and we'll do a nice big one. That would be really cool. And then I got two little bottles of the gold flake that we can use in there as well. So I think all of this together is gonna make for a really cool organite pyramid. So I think I'm gonna get the canvas and my paints out. I'm gonna set all that up in the kitchen and do like an alien ET UFO or extra dimensional type based painting. I have a few ideas I'm kicking around in my mind of what I wanna do. And then subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to find out more and see if we can figure out how to make our first ever Organite Energy Pyramid together. So that's gonna be fun. It's coming up soon.